Hello and welcome to the first devlog of my indie game Paramythic. Paramythic is going to be an action-adventure medieval fantasy game with RPG elements. I know it sounds like a lot, but this is how I want the final product to be. I'm using the Unreal Engine 5 because it's very powerful and has many cool new features. I also use a modified version of the advanced locomotion system as a base for my project that has some more features such as climbing as you can see in the background. For those who don't know, the advanced locomotion system is an advanced template for character movement and animation layering provided free in the Unreal Engine marketplace. Today's devlog isn't going to be very long, we'll just assign a new character mess to the game using the UE5's new IK retargeting system. Hey guys, my name is Telios and without further ado, let's start the game. Alright, here we are inside the engine. Now I want to show you what characters I'm going to use in the game. These characters are made by Cindy Studios and they fit really well with the art style I'm going for. This is the ALS mannequin skeleton which is very different from the Cindy one so I'll have to retarget the one to the other. The first thing I need to make is an IK retargeter for the Cindy skeleton. So I made an IK retargeter asset and selected the Cindy skeleton. Then I started making the bone chains. This process takes a lot of time so we'll fast forward to the end. Ok, now that I finished with the Sinti skeleton, I made the same for the ALS one. So now it's time to make the IK retargeter. For this I made an IK retargeter asset based on the ALS skeleton and added the Sinti one. Then I assigned an animation to see the result. As you can see, the hands are a bit off so I had to modify the retargeting pose. It seems to work fine. I added a skeletal mesh in my ALS character blueprint and named it Sinti. Now I have to create an animation blueprint that copies the pose of the ALS character and retargets it into the Sinti one. I used the retarget pose from mesh node and I selected the retargeter I made earlier. Time to play! Because the Sinti character has significantly longer hands than the ALS animan, there is a slight offset to the hand placement. To fix this, we will use another brand new UE5 feature called IK Goals. So we'll go back to the IK rig and add an IK goal to the left hand with a full body IK solver. We'll set the clavicle as the root of the solver and change the preview mode of the goal to absolute. Finally, we'll expose it to the rig and do the same for the right hand. Then I added the IK rig into the animation blueprint and set its transform to world position. I added a piece of code to take the position of the ALS mannequin hands and assign it to the Sinti ones. As you can see, my character has some back problems. I assigned the opposite hands to each other, but after I change them, he looks perfectly fine. This new pipeline of retargeting animations in UE5 is very powerful and I can't wait to see what Epic does next. Okay guys, that's it for today. If you liked the video, hit the like button and I'll see you all in the next devlog. Bye!